So in the first part when we were learning about uh, the age of Renaissance, we discussed the factor that uh, people were migrating to various areas due to uh, various reasons, for example, the fall of Constantinople, the Black Death and also the Crusades, the constant instability. And we also discussed the fact that um, uh, these people were settling down in Italy. So therefore we see Italy becomes uh, the primary place where these, uh, you know, ideas are being propagated, right? Now, uh, essentially, when we uh, look at this map, we see that, uh, you know, various um, uh, trade routes are uh, being connected. We have the Byzantine Empire here, and we have the Seljuk Turks or the Islamic Empire in this area. And there is a constant clash, which we already know about, which was called uh, the Crusades, which was the Holy War. So after the fall of the uh, Roman Empire around 4th century, we know that the western part uh, of the Roman Empire, uh, you know, they could not gain an access to the Asian lands for trade. Whereas the eastern part, which, was, uh, which included the Byzantine Empire, had uh, you know an easy access but slowly that also closed down but after the crusades we see that there is a re-establishment of the trade routes the connections open up between the romans and the islamic empire we see at this point of time trade gave rise to various financial institutions such as banks you know Italy becomes a very important uh, area that saw the growth of these Renaissance ideas. But why so? Because Italy uh, was a place that was, uh, you know, being revitalized during the Crusades. There were, uh, you know, clashes uh, in front of Italy um, because this, this was an area which was being visited by soldiers from both the sides, right? So essentially, that gave rise to... So we see a revival of trade which creates you know, essential classes of merchants and bankers. So thus we see economy uh, improving in these areas. So thus we see that the Renaissance ideas are being established in Italy uh, by various families and they are promoting it, patronizing it. We can view that by the story of uh, Italy in 1469 uh, when a nobleman called Lorenzo de Medici who, was, uh, who belonged from the wealthy family of Medici's took over his uh, you know, family business uh, of trading and banking. So essentially they were traders and they were merchants. Now, because of the growth of economy due to the open trade routes, their wealth also kept increasing at this point of time. And Italy at this point of time also saw the influx of various people, right? The, uh, because of various factors, people were migrating to Italy. Now, the primary factor was, of course, the Crusades, which opened up various routes. But also the reason that Italy was situated, it, would, it was a coastal area, right? And also the factor that it was a major Christian center, which was important to the Christian people. Thus, the Medici family, who, who were, um, you know, wealthy, they thought that money should be used in promoting beauty, truth and wisdom. Right, because uh, these were the people who were ideally patronizing the artists. These were the people who were housing the artists so that the Renaissance ideas could be promoted, could be supported by economy. For example, we see the picture of Michelangelo here. Do you know that Michelangelo and Lorenzo de Medici, they were very close friends. And even Michelangelo stayed there for five years and they dined at the same uh, table. Right. So, 
in this uh, very animation it was quite visible that how a wealthy family of the medicis were able to you know patronize these forms of uh, renaissance ideas and thus italy became the first very region to experience the forces of renaissance because of course these um, you know people would require an economic support to establish themselves renaissance was first started in the city of florence in italy which was a banking and financial institution so we saw that trading made the medici is very wealthy right prosperity in trade further fueled the renaissance ideas because of course if these ideas need to grow they would require commerce to support it can you tell me which was the first city to see the advent of renaissance was it venice was it rome florence or naples that is correct it was florence thus we can see that you know this entire environment from opening to the of the trade routes to the medicis uh, you know to the uh, migration of people made the environment of italy conducive two progressive ideas now this environment of italy was economically and culturally conducive to progressive ideas because we see the growth of both of these factors so we see after florence places like venice and genoa were also becoming very vibrant with these new ideas and why so because these new merchants and bankers were actively participating in governing the cities right because they wanted to bring back the old um, you know golden ages and the prosperity and peace and stability that uh, governance and life had at that point of time now this automatically therefore gave rise to the urban culture that was developing in these towns so thus we saw the story of how italy became the hub of these renaissance ideas and how it became the epicenter where these ideas would grow they would propagate and also who exactly supported these ideas